Welcome to the CE Pro Podcast. I'm Executive Editor Arlen Schweiger. Savant is one of the most diverse companies in the custom electronics industry in terms of its product solutions, which range from control systems to lighting to energy. These days, the customer journey often starts with audio, for which Savant's new 9.4 software release offers expanded streaming services and further personalization for managing music. George Katsiris, Savant's VP and product evangelist, spoke with CE Pro editor Jason Knott for this week's episode, so let's dig in and see how Savant is positioned to address that audio need while also giving customers a system that can grow with their smart home needs. Hi, Jason Knott with CE Pro, and today we are talking about audio with Savant. Savant, of course, everybody knows is one of the leading companies in the custom electronics industry, known for their control, known for their lighting, known for their energy systems, but they're also a leader in the audio space. So here to talk with me about that is George Katsiris, Vice President and Product Evangelist at Savant. Hi, George. Hey, Jason. Great to see you again. Thanks for joining me. Let's jump right into it. You know, uh, give us a brief overview of what Savant is doing in terms of its investment in audio. Yeah, I uh, appreciate that. Savant is heavily investing into audio. There's a couple of key categories. Um, like you say, we're known for being the, the control, which means the interface for the home. But um, the areas uh, within the home that we're really, really heavily investing in are, are lighting for sure. And of course, there was the GE lighting acquisition last year, and everybody knows about that. And audio is another really key category. And um, I'm uh, working with the team leading the charge there as the uh, product lead for all of the, all things audio. And so we are investing across the board, um, starting, I'd say, with uh, you know the Artisan acquisition a few years ago and bringing in uh, legendary speaker designer, Kerry Christie in-house to the you know, hardware side, to the software side, the streaming services side and partnership side, uh, personnel, um, really all the way across the board, we are really, really dedicated and focused on audio. So we're gonna dig into each of those segments in this conversation, but let's back up a little bit. You know, the real origins or one of the key origins of Savan actually came out of audio. Tell us a little bit about that. It's true. It's really the genesis of um, Savant in general and, and speaks a lot to the customer journey uh, over the last 20 plus years, still often very, very much starts with audio. And it did for Savant. Um, as a lot of folks know, I used to uh, be a dealer before um, joining Savant and uh, Bob Madonna was a former customer. He walked in the shop one day looking for great sound and wanted a great pair of speakers and a great music system. Um, which of course was happy to accommodate. And then often, as it still is the case, everything else kind of got attached afterwards, lighting and shades and control and everything else kind of came after that. But the thing that he woke up in the morning and said, I want is great sound. And uh, today I know a lot of our integrators still have that where customers come in and say, I want music throughout my house or I want really great sound in this room or whatever. And so, um, it's very much true, you're right, that that's, that's how the whole company started. And so it's kind of full circle. And really right after we started, um, from day one, we had a, a native integration with Apple and had iTunes built right into our systems. And we had four independent streams coming out of the HDMI port uh, and distributed that throughout the house. And then as time passed and things evolved in the market with streaming services emerging, and we, we did some partnerships um, and that was okay to, to fill that need for a while, but along the way, we realized that we really need to control our own destiny here and have our own direct certified integrations with all the major um, services. And so now I guess, you know, 15 years later, here we are. And because um, it does start with being the source uh, for the home and bringing that music into the home. And so uh, that's, that's a huge part of our focus in bringing those streaming services uh, in our certified integrations to market. So this is kind of a two-part question that I think you have to answer the first part before you can get to the second part. Um, the second part is going to be how can an integrator um, benefit from selling Savant not only as a standalone music system, but also integrated into all of the other systems that you've mentioned. But I think back up a little bit 
Tell us kind of briefly, what is the portfolio of audio products that Savant has? And then talk about how that can be sold as either standalone or integrated into a whole house and, and multi-category system. Yeah, so it really is an end-to-end -end, uh, solution that means from source to speaker and everything in between, which means you know the switches and the amps, right? So Savant has uh, streaming music servers. We actually embed those into our uh, smart amplifiers. So we have you know two-channel amps. We have uh, multi-zone amplifiers that have the uh, streaming services built in, and um, uh, we all the way through to the other end where we have the, the speakers, whether it be sound bars or our nano architectural series products. Um, and we also partner with Revel for architectural speakers and, and others for other audio use cases, um, because it does need to be a complete audio ecosystem even within the category of audio. And to uh, your point there on the, the second half of that, that's really where there's such a huge opportunity because like I said, the customer journey hasn't changed that much. And so for every job where maybe you get the, the Bob Madonna scenario where you're able to then attach um, and expand that job into a full control um, and automation solution with lighting and everything else and shades, um, for every one of those on average, a lot of the, our dealers are probably doing you know one or two or more standalone audio types of jobs. I think that's important because First of all, you are as a dealer now riding more than one horse. You have a go-to solution maybe for audio. And even within that, you're probably riding two horses and you're using X for a, a source and you're using something else for a switch or for a speaker. Um, and so that there's already, you know, riding two horses there. Secondly, if you get the customer to a point where you say, hey, you should consider these other things, now you might have to switch gears and say, oh, okay, well, actually now I'm going to sell you Savant amplifiers and these other things that are part of this, this ecosystem. And I think that both the dealer and the end user are better served if um, Savant can provide a go-to standalone audio solution where when the customer comes in and says, I want music, you can just full-throated, yes, great, we got you. Uh, here goes Savant, just even if there's nothing else on the job, uh, there where you can use it to bring music into the house and distribute it throughout the house. And from there, you have the opportunity as a dealer to do a lot of things. One, future-proof it by having the promise of adding potentially other zones later. We often see that a lot of times people will start with a certain size job and then eventually love their audio system so much that they want to add outdoor speakers or this extra zone here or there. So there's that opportunity of expansion. But there's also this other opportunity, like I said, of, of um, future proofing in terms of the, the ability to add other things to that system. Because once I've got audio in a room, um, it is natural that you're creating this environment to potentially add lighting to that room or to add other things. And to invest in a platform as an end user that I know I can grow with is a very comforting thing from a technology perspective. I like where you're going with that because it, it's showing that that selecting best in breed doesn't necessarily mean it's mutually exclusive for an upgrade path. So, for example, um, you know, an integrator who might go with a system that's that's standalone on the audio side and is not thinking about that automatic upgrade path that he can get, and he's still he, he's not bringing them a solution that's uh, you know a lower level solution with Savant, but he's built in an automatic upgrade for, path for himself by doing this. Yeah, and people will be surprised um, at how cost effective it is if you actually just look at a Savant multi zone audios job as just a standalone job. We're right there, uh, uh, competitive with everything else that's out there, but with this extra added value of the smarts. And, you know, a lot of folks are self identifying as smart audios or smart speakers these days. And we feel like we have a, a very strong advantage with the last 15 years of being able to add our entire smart home software stack that is in the Savant, you know, pro jobs and the dedicated host jobs that we have and the multi-zone control automation jobs, that entire software stack is residing right on um, these smart amplifiers and smart sound bars that we're talking about that not only have the music services built in, but have our entire control automation software suite built in. All right, let's dig into some of the initiatives that you mentioned earlier, George. So Savant has recently expanded its streaming services that are natively integrated into um, its equipment in the 9.4 release. Tell us a little bit about that. 
Yeah, uh, Savant's strategy is to provide an end to end solution from source to speaker, and there is a directionality there. And so it starts with the source and bringing it in house. Uh, maybe a few years ago, really, we started the, down the path of creating direct certified integrations with um, all of the major um, streaming music services. And so 9.4.x, because everything has its own certification process and timelines, but they, um, they all are part of this 9.4 broader release where we will have, starting with 9.4, which I'm pleased to say has just uh, shipped, we now have direct um, Spotify Connect integration. We have Pandora, we have Deezer Hi-Fi, which is great. That gives us 16-bit um, uh, high-res audio. And they're a great partner that offers a two-month uh, trial to our, our customers. Um, uh, TuneIn and, um, and Plex for local users. And uh, right on the heels of 9.4, the 9.4 uh, point releases afterwards have a Cirrus XM um, certification and um, title as well, direct integrations there where um, so, you know, that's all over the next few months, weeks and months that these are all happening. So Savant really truly becomes the, um, the source for these major music services. We've had AirPlay for years already, uh, with Spotify, you, um, on their current API on the connect API, uh, that's interesting because there's different users and different use cases. And so if you are the, um, uh, music lover who wants to use the Savant Pro experience, use the app and the touch panels and our, and our app and our um, you know, remote control and everything else. And you want to be able to dive in to a music service. Deezer is a great partner there um, and some of the others where you can leverage their APIs rich and allows us to ingest all of that functionality into the Savant experience. Then you get other um, companies like Spotify where they have a lot of users. They have the most users on the planet, over 300 million active users. Uh, I'm one of them. I love Spotify as well. And I use their app all the time. And I actually love Connect and I can use it to send uh, music that I've picked to the car or to the headphones or to my computer or to my Savant system. And so we've done uh, some really cool uh, integration there. And I feel like we add some unique value to what we've done. Uh, so different users for different uh, types of music listening and for different music services, all part of this, this family. And then that goes through the chain to the switches and the amps and that we also make uh, where we embed those music servers right on our, um, our amplifiers and our sound bars and our streaming music servers. And then all the way out to the, uh, the speaker end of things where we have everything from, from the sound bars to a nano architectural series of products um, for the ceiling and uh, partnered with Revel for uh, the full line of the Revel architectural series products. So really end-to-end -end solution um, from source to speaker that stands on its own or it can be part of this broader Savant solution. So in addition to the streaming service native integration, what else is in the 9.4 release? So uh, that's a great question. Thanks for that. There's all these updates to the UI and the experience within the app itself. And so personalization is a huge theme for Savant uh, with one of our signature features uh, scenes, which we've had for years now. That's certainly always been there for the music experience, but we updated the entire um, you know, landing page for the Savant music experience. Um, and I'll actually step you through that and, and while I talk through it. So if you go into the Savant Pro app and go into the music services, then what you're going to see at the top is something new to the uh, 9.4 experience, which is recent. And there's a carousel of the last 10 things that you've done. And that is anything from if it was a Spotify radio station that you were listening to, or, you know, uh, your or Pandora station or Sirius XM or a title playlist or Deezer playlist or whatever that may have been, um, that's going to pop right up and you can jump right back in. Below, you're going to see um, the music services themselves, but this is actually part of a, a dashboard and I can click on hold on any of them, move them around. Um, and that is also true in terms of, it could be a radio station, it could be a song, it could be either an album or, um, you know, a playlist or any of those things that can appear. Uh, so you can move them around and get them to be in whatever order you want and pin the ones that you want to get quick access to. So time to music is very important for us. 
Um, and that's been improved significantly on top of this element of personalization in the Savant app. But there's also, like I say, an element of Time to Music is one of the things I love about the, the Spotify integration. Um, because if you go into Spotify, you can quickly get to all of your songs. I have 10,000 songs that I like, but let's say I wanna start a, a radio station from a certain artist. And once I've done that, I just click at the connect logo where I can then pick any savant endpoint. And the way people live often is they have groups. So I often listen to the music when I'm listening in this floor, I'll listen in the kitchen, the library and the uh, dining room all at the same time. So I can just select that as a group, which I can set up within the pro app. So that level of personalization extends to which zones you wanna have appear within Spotify. Uh, and that's something new to Savant where we become an endpoint. That personalization looks fantastic. So what are some of the key questions integrators should ask their clients during the discovery process so they can really talk about how to personalize that Savant app for them? Yeah, that I will say is such a critical part of that process. A dealer's job as technology consultants is to get to know who the users are, how they live. Um, some cases they may need to prescribe music services for the for the user. In other cases, the, the, the user already has a very strong point of view on the ones that they already use. Um, and so the dealer's job is really to find that out and say, hey, what are you listening to? Um, what kinds of music? What services? Do you have a streaming radio service? Do you, you know, have a subscription with this one or that one? Do you like local talk radio? Get all the way in the, in the weeds on this and figure out. And by the way, there's multiple users often within the home. And where do you like to listen to music in the home? If it's new construction or even maybe introduce places that they haven't thought to put music into their home, but take the time to go through that process and then it'll help guide everything from there. Because if you know, and somebody says right off the rip that they're a super heavy Spotify user and they've got 10,000 songs curated, you know, then you know to um, show them some of those features and have that be part of the plan. Whereas if somebody, um, you know, doesn't do that and they have a big local library, you might want to go down this other path with, with us et cetera, et cetera, or if they listen to a lot of radio and they're not mutually exclusive. And this is where I was saying that discovery process can extend all the way through to those scenes. If you want to wake up in the morning and have your TV come on to the news or the uh, weather channel, but on mute, because who really wants to hear that? I wanna see that while I'm listening to my favorite Pandora or Spotify radio station or whatever in this room in the master bedroom and the master bathroom while I get ready for work. That can all be created as a scene and the lights turn on, the circadian rhythms that can be part of that. So there's a lot of uh, ability to build upon that personalization experience room to room, moment to moment. So you mentioned earlier how obviously uh, this could be integrated into a whole house ecosystem, but also it could be sold as by an integrator and set up as a standalone system, music system. So how does Savant specifically differ as a standalone option from other standalone systems? Yeah, it's, it's really important to see how we can add value to the market. And, you know, there's a lot of speaker companies out there. There's a lot of, you know, smart companies out there in the audio category. And it's why we call it the Savant Smart Audio brand that in terms of a standalone audio solution, because the value we feel that it adds is um, a, few, a few things. Number one, higher quality in terms of the actual sound quality. Um, everything that we do, we distribute over audio over IP and um, that's a 24 bit 96K uh, ultra high res distribution of audio throughout the home that we feel like stands, stands apart from a lot of other solutions that are there. So from end to end, there's that, but being a smart music company or a smart audio company isn't just having the uh, streaming services. We have the core stack of software that runs our biggest homes um, running on even our single uh, music streamers or our smart audio sound bars. That intelligence and the ability to light up everything literally uh, and figuratively around the rest of the house or in a room. So for example, a sound bar is, an, uh, is a very common attach to a TV fan. 
right? Where you're going to improve the audio from, but so is an LED strip that might go behind the TV and the ability to control that and the TV itself or anything else in the room, um, the fixtures in the room and to be able to expand upon that. So we certainly, I think, offer value in terms of um, being able to not only offer the music services, but have the ability to integrate other things and add uh, as a gateway into the rest of the smart home. All right, let's, uh, let's follow up with one really important question and that's what's on the product roadmap from Savant in terms of audio hardware and services? Well, as I said at the top, we're really heavily investing in uh, across all the categories when it comes to audio. So um, not just on these streaming music services and then on the software piece, uh, that we've been talking about so far, but absolutely on the hardware side, um, on the personnel side, we brought in in-house experts on DSP, acoustic engineers, where the, the bench is getting deeper and there's a lot of talent that we're bringing in on that side of the business, business development side um, and on the partner side. But as far as our own Savant products and hardware and solutions that we're bringing, there is with 9.4 a Savant Smart Audio Bridge that lets you take our hardwired ultra high res solution that we're talking about and distribute that and, and into zones where you might want a, um, uh, a wireless solution. Uh, actually, like I have here in this room that I'm sitting right now, I have a pair of our Savant Smart Audio satellites that are um, uh, also used as surrounds. But now with 9.4, I get this Smart Audio bridge and I can use them as a wireless pair in uh, any room throughout the ecosystem. And still all the rest of my zones in this house are hardwired except for this one where I have that from that bridge. So that, that comes with 9.4 and the ability to add that and the wireless subs to any room, which is cool. And then there's also getting into uh, really down in the weeds from like surround modes that we're gonna be adding to the app and that level of detail and control and personalization um, uh, to, the, to the customers. There's also a larger subwoofer that has not only the, the WISA technology and the wireless technology built in, but a, uh, the ABB uh, technology built in that is part of our larger uh, audio over IP solution. So there's a larger, has twice the amount of throw as the current generation subwoofer, it's, which will stay, um, but now there's a bigger companion to that. So we're rounding off. There's a pair of um, smart audio bookshelf speakers that are coming uh, that are gonna be larger than the satellites I just showed you for um, that level of critical listening. And um, there's, you know, that's all this year. This is all stuff that we're, that we're shipping uh, this year. So we're in constantly improving everything from the DSP on the existing products. And um, really there's on the streaming music services that we talked about uh, further down the road, but in development, we're also working with um, Apple Music and with Amazon Music, both of which are in our roadmap. You know, you had said something to me earlier about, you know, when you guys made the investment and bought the artisan brand, that it really wasn't worth it if you were just going to take the artisan products and slap the Savant label on it. And it really sounds like you, as you said, are heavily investing in moving the audio category forward. And it's not any sort of status quo situation. Yeah, that has been a, um, you know, kind of guiding principle for us. We're, there's a lot of great speaker solutions out there and we knew with Artisan that we were getting uh, you know, some of the very best and that wasn't necessarily our core competency at the time. So we took Carrie and company and were able to take what they do great and add the Savant you know, smarts inside of that. And, but you know, that's the direction that we're going strategically and continue to invest in that because that's where we feel that we actually do offer some unique value into the market. Okay, really enlightening conversation about what's happening with Savant on the audio side. George Katsiris, thanks for joining CE Pro today. Thanks, Jason. Take care.